What's going on guys? It's Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video. And today I have an opening, unboxing, and setup, hopefully, depending on time frame, of the Pebble Time Round. So, um, this is a new watch that has come out from Pebble that is the same, I believe same pretty much internals and everything as the Pebble Time, like the Pebble Steel as well. Um, that's not the right name. Pebble Time Steel. I don't know. My brain's all nutty apparently right now. So this is the round model of the Pebble Time. Uh, and this just came out and just went on sale. I believe today is the 10th. So I believe... Or no, today is the 9th. Um, I believe it came out on the 8th or the 9th. Something like that. So anyways... Uh, we're going to do an opening and unboxing of this, so I was excited to see this at the store. It looks pretty cool, uh, and we'll talk about those huge bezels in a second. So on the front here we have Pebble Time. Uh, there's a 20 on this one. The other watch had a 14, and it was a, a red and white model. Not really sure what the two number differences are. It could have something to do with the size of the watch. I'm not sure. I went with the black one. The other one was red and black, and there's like a goldish colored one that was only available online. I got this at Target, by the way, and it was uh, $249.99. The normal Pebble Time um, is $199, and they've started to go on sale already, too. So, On the side here, we have that shiny Pebble logo. On the top, just the flap. On the other side, same, shiny. On the bottom, we just have the information on how it connects, FCC, certifications, things like that. On the back, we have up to two-day battery life. Um, so I think the Pebble Time is actually four days. Uh, so this watch looks really thin from pictures I've seen. So my guess is it has a lot smaller battery. So second part there, fast charging, which I don't think the other one had. So that's pretty cool. Notifications, obviously. Color e-paper display again. Personalization, obviously voice reply, so voice responses, uh, works with iPhone and with Android. So Android needs to be 4.3 and higher. Um, iPhone from 4S and up. So this is new enough that it just came out, but not new enough where you can see there where it lists, lists iPhone 6, uh, 6 Plus. Um, oh, no, it doesn't. iPhone 6S Plus and iPhone 6S. So, late enough to miss the 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 packaging was late enough for that. The, the thing that I think is going on with these is it looks like the exact same packaging as the other watches. I think they use the same exact things, maybe just a different color. And then this little 20 here um, is different too. So, let's get into this. So, on the back here we have this plastic that you just peel away. This is going to be a lot like that other unboxing, but the watch will be completely different, and I'm excited to see what that looks like. So this tab flips up, and then this just pushes from the bottom. And on the inside here it says, Welcome. I don't know if you can see that because it's clear. Welcome to the time of your life. And then it's in like five total different languages. So the first thing you see, obviously, is the watch that we already saw. I'm going to pull that out for a second. So underneath, we have some paperwork and some stickers. So here's a couple of Pebble stickers. Here is the watch itself, so you can see how it functions. Display, there's three buttons on the right side, which is up, select, and down. And there's a microphone underneath that. And then there's a power button on the left-hand side. Um, this probably is just, yep, yeah, some other languages and teaching you how to set up the watch and then safety regulation information, which we don't care about. On the back here, you have the watch wrapped around this little display. And we'll pull this off. The, the watch band is leather, which I wasn't sure if it was or not, so I think these are made out of premium materials. Hmm. I noticed something right away, which is strange, and I'll tell you in a second. So. That just comes away from there, and then inside of here is going to be your, you guys know I don't like to rip packaging, I'm trying to be careful, charge cable. Again, it's that nice um, flat cable like we have with the other Pebble Time, 
and then the magnetic clasp that keeps sticking to the USB 2.0 side. Nice cable, I like the flat cable so they don't become tangled. So, this watch is insanely light. Wow, it's really small um, as far as weight and thinness. Look at how thin that watch is. Oh my gosh. It's so thin that it's not really focusing. Look at that. Wow. That's insanely thin. So think of a watch strap, like a leather strap, and look how much thicker the watch is. No wonder it gets two days battery life. It's probably a tiny battery in there. That's really cool looking though. Um, the watch bands are very nice. They have the quick release pins, which is great. So you just pull them down and you can switch them out. I'm going to guess that they're 20, yep, so 20 millimeter band, so that's what the 14 probably was. It was a 14 millimeter band, so probably geared towards a woman's size watch. I don't know how small a 14 millimeter band would look. Probably pretty small. So on the back here we just have Pebble. It says water resistant, um, 601, and then a bunch of code numbers. Stainless steel, 20 millimeter band, 38 millimeter case. So the let's get to that there's actually nothing covering the glass there was no protector on the screen that's so weird that there was nothing protecting it hmm. so here's the watch itself those are some huge bezels and we're going to turn it on here in a second so we can see how it looks but again really nice leather i like the way it feels this watch is insanely thin so you wouldn't hit it on stuff more more than likely i just can't get over how thin that looks so let's turn this on so we can do the setup. Power button's on the left. It immediately goes to that e-paper display. Download the Pebble app, so I have already done that. Um, let's open it up. I'll probably have to sign into my Pebble account. It's been a while, so Pebble time. Oops. Which Pebble do you have? So you can swipe through these so you have. Oh, so it's all through here now. You can do this one app. So there's Pebble, there's Pebble Steel, Pebble Time, Pebble Time Steel, and Pebble Time Round, which is what we have. So continue. So let me try to sign in really quick here. Doo -doo -doo. Let's try that. Let me turn down my brightness just a bit. Okay, that was my right login, so that's good. We don't have to wait for any more of that. English. Wow, the watch looks, it actually looks really cool, guys. I, I don't think I'm alone in saying I wasn't a fan of the bezels when I first saw it, but who knows, you know? Maybe this will be that solution that it's just a smart watch. It's not meant to help take over your phone. It just helps with notifications and just it looks more like a watch because this looks like a watch. Looks like it's having trouble pairing. There it is. You always hope that it'll work for the video. So hit pair here and hit the right hand side to pair and you get that little logo that gives you a heart. Making sure your Pebble is up to date. So pebble.com slash app Nexus 6 it knows it's connected to. So we're going to see if it is up to date. Your Pebble is in factory mode and needs an update. Okay, so that's the message you're going to see on there. You're setting it up for the first time. And it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. So let's try this on while it's happening so we can actually see the size on the wrist. You guys know from my last few videos, I'm not a small watch guy. Um, but this looks like it's going to be super comfortable. Wow, it is really small, but dang, is it light. This is insane. It's like there's nothing inside of it. Ah, uh, the leather is very um, unforgiving, and what I mean by that is it's very stiff right now, which is good. Leather should be that way. So this is what the watch looks like on my wrist. It doesn't look too small just because that huge bezel adds to the size of the screen itself. If that was the actual size of the watch, it would be crazy small. It would be way too small. So, um, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to update this really quick. And then we can. Here it keeps going. So again, you can see the width of the watch, crazy small. Um, the band is very comfortable. I could see wearing this non-stop. It just, it's super lightweight. It's not in my way. The band is like a plushy leather, like it can actually rub, kind of like a couch would do, that like microfiber look to it where you rub it and it like makes a pattern. You see that? Um, so very soft, nice band. I'm going to go ahead and take it off now. Feels like I could wear it nonstop without without wanting to take it off all the time. So we're at 83 percent now. And let's open the Pebble Time again. This is going to be running on my Nexus. This can run on your iPhone as well, though. So no issues there because you guys know I run two different operating systems for my phones. So we're at 95, 96. Almost there. Thanks for sticking with me if you're still here. 98, 99, and we're good to go. And you can see the e-paper display actually looks pretty good compared to the other Pebble Time. It kind of washed out a little bit on mine. I don't know if everyone's was like that or if it was just hard to get used to. Um, but when you come from like an Android Wear watch or something that has an AMOLED screen like the Gear S2, it's a big change. Um, the draw with the Pebble is it's supposed to last a long time and with a with a watch this thin means a, th a small battery so with that two day charge life usually they overshoot companies will say you know it'll last four or five days when really it's two or three even Fitbits and things like that they just do um, so we'll see how that works I'll try to do a review of this guy if there's enough interest so kind of the same menu here except everything's rounded off instead so you have the percentage um, there saying it's connecting to the phone there's settings music notifications alarms watch faces maps leaf these are old apps I've downloaded so leaf is for um, nest my uh, nest thermostat and we can go into watch faces and check out a couple of these so TikTok. Uh, and these are ones that I have downloaded. I guess they save them. And it's going to take a second and it'll load it onto there. So I'm guessing this is just like the other one before. So we shake it to do it. But yeah, guys. So if you guys have any questions about this watch, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up for me. I'm going to try to do a review of this one because I think this is... Um, very interesting compared to the other watches that I've been reviewing, obviously. So, um, I appreciate the watches. Thanks again for the new followers and subscribers. And again, I'm going to post a link down to my Twitter. I'll post kind of uh, little updates here and there on what I'm going to be getting or what I should be getting soon and stuff like that. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.